Hello, I hope you're having a good day. My name is T.R. Rose and I am late to the game. Last time on Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, we escaped jail using a grenade carved from a bar of soap and a paper lantern. It makes sense in context, so if you're really confused about what's going on, go to my previous video so you can see what happened. For now, we are headed to the Parsley Forest to try to find the resistance base. There's our password. We are going to start to begin the next level. Ah, oh, here we are again. We are back in the intersection in Spinach Heights. Ugh, Spinach Farms. Apparently Percy is not a fan of spinach. It's the same signpost. But I don't like spinach. I'm gonna take it anyway. Well, I guess it is good for me. Boss, farmies are searching for us everywhere. Can we go back? There isn't enough memory to go back. Okay, that's kind of on the nose, but alright. So, let's head back to the lake. We might need water. It's Lake Quench. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, the fern birds are back. Look, there's their nest. Hey boss, there are three baby birds here. They must be newborn. Those weren't here last time we were here. There was just a gold coin in the nest. Ah, oh, there's a blue umbrella in the bush. Let's see. Let's take some water. Always want to take water. Okay, but it doesn't look like rain. Can we take the baby birds? That's so cruel. Okay, we'll leave the baby birds alone. The fern birds will be back. Obviously, we can't take the big tree. So, let's see what Percy says. What will we do if it rains? That's a hint that if you miss the umbrella, you'll need to take it. So, we're going to go forward. Ah, here we are. Boss, the small shrine. It's the same red apple as we saw last time. And there's the flower. The red apple statue. And interestingly, even if you didn't place the flower and turn the statue red in chapter one, it will still be red with the flower now. It looks the same. He looks very happy. What a pretty little flower. Hello. Can we take the flower? It's an offering, don't take it. Leave him alone. But he'll be homeless. Yeah, we, we can't do that. Uh, can't give him anything either. Percy says, Boss, he said that Saladron hates scissors. Now that doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense right now. But if you remember, the way that you battle in this game is by doing rock, paper, scissors. When you get to the point that you're battling the Saladron monster, use the scissors command in rock, paper, scissors, and you will have a better chance of success. Shops. What does he say if we praise him? He didn't talk back. Hello? No, I don't think there's anything else we can do here, so we're gonna go back. So we got water, and we found a blue umbrella. So we're going to go back. Here we are again! The guard is looking for us! And if you remember in chapter one, we snuck past the guard while he was asleep to get into town. Well, I guess now the guard isn't too happy about that. And the farmies are searching for us everywhere. So let's head back to the patch. We're back at the fence. Everything looks the same. Nothing's changed, boss. Says no vegetables. It's a very strong fence. Passage under the fence is still here, boss. Prince Lettuce is gone! Oh no! Poor Prince Lettuce! Oh, that's a problem. Fence shock. Made a strange noise. Ouch, the bush has thorns! Uh, no one's around to talk. 
can't go back to the bush. There's no more Prince Lettuce, so we just have to go to the passage. Boss, what happened? Everybody has been taken except Watermelon. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Hey, this hole is deep. He's all dehydrated. Cough, gasp, wheeze. Well, we certainly need to get him some water. Thanks, I was so thirsty. I used a little bit of the water, boss. Everyone was harvested, but I was too bad looking. Uh-oh. I saw Mr. Leek. He was carrying a blue umbrella, but he lost it. Well, we found it, so hopefully we can give that to Mr. Leek. I'll be okay, thanks. Only watermelon was spared. Sounds very dry. I'll be okay, thanks. So, that third hole... Ah, here we are. It's a mole hole. Where is the mole? Is the mole home? No one's around. Moles don't like the sun. So what we have to do is to use that umbrella that we found earlier. Why open the umbrella, boss? Oh, look! The mole came out. He's greeting us. He could use some water. Thanks, I hate sunshine. It's so hot out here. Now oh, let's see. We have water in the pot, so let's give him some of the water. Okay, boss, I'll try it. Ah, oh, thanks, I was so thirsty. Listen. In the parsley forest, there is a monster called Saladron. He's protecting a treasure, the Yam Medallion. Not much water left. Saladron is very dangerous. You must be careful. This is the left half of some instructions I found near a big tree. I'm sorry, but I couldn't find the other half. Go see the forest guard. Watermelon can help you. So let's look at our item list, what we managed to keep. So we've still got our coins. We've still got our grape juice and our clover juice, which is interesting. I don't think I ever purchased the clover juice before. So we've got two kinds of juice. We've got the aspirin for the general. We have spinach. We have water. We have the umbrella. And we have the left half of instructions. So let's see if we can give him the spinach. I don't need spinach. Okay. Boss, we've got to find the forest guard shack. Ouch. Am I that cute? Thanks. Forest Guard Watermelon can help you. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Let's see. Mr. Leek is the Forest Guard. He lives in the shack over there. This is another case where you have to do things in the right order. You can't get him to tell you about the Forest Guard until Mr. Mole tells you that there is a Forest Guard to talk to. I hope we don't get lost in the Parsley Forest. Well, unfortunately we will. We may need to speed up some of the video at that point because it is a maze. Uh, Shack, here we go. Hey boss, it's the Forest Guard Shack. It's surrounded by forest. It's made of leeks. Boss, it's a farmy duck. I don't think he does anything. Shacks are very soft. Can we fight? Nope, he's just an animation. Anybody home? No answer, boss. Ah, uh, move forward. Hey, boss, there's a stream behind the shack. It doesn't look safe. I can't swim, boss. Rock looks very slippery, boss. Spooky boss, let's go back! Percy, this is where we're supposed to be going. Parsley Forest is across this stream. Great, that's where we need to go, right? I need water wings to help me swim. So, unfortunately, Percy's no help here. He doesn't like water, 
We can't swim, so until we find water wings, we're not going into the forest. Let's see. We need to get Mr. Leaf to show up. Mr. Leaf? I think it's Mr. Leaf. Anyone home? Ah, oh, it's the forest guard! This is the entrance to the Parsley Forest. Across the river there are many farmies. I can see your little friend can't swim. Oh yes, I almost forgot to tell you. Across the river behind my shack. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> Ah, uh, and please do not litter in the forest. That's a hint for something that you'll find next. Oh yes, I almost forgot to tell you. If you defeat the horrible Saladron, I'll help you. Uh, sir, I'm on a quest to find the princess. You should probably help me now. Almost forgot to tell you. Ah, uh, and I forgot. All right. Praise Mr. Leaf. Thanks, but it's no use. <sighs> he sure has a long head. Wow, that's that's useful, Percy. Thanks. Who <laughs> we hit Mr. Leaf? He's a senior citizen. Uh, I need water wings. Let's see. We have we have his umbrella. Ah, there we go. Oh, my umbrella. Please take these water wings. Oh, it's about time, sir. Alright, well, we've got what we need. So now that we have the water wings, we can go across the stream. So I think we have to hit use wings. Okay, I put my water wings on. Let's see. Boss, I got across using my water wings. Oh no! It's a farmy! So this is the first battle takes us all the way to chapter 4 before we use our battle system. And in the original instruction manual for the game, they tell you that it's a variation of rock, paper, scissors, and then, depending on if you win or lose rock, paper, scissors, you either point your finger in the direction of the enemy, or you try to look away from the direction their finger is pointing. It sounds complicated, but it's pretty simple. He's hunting for vegetables. He's a good finger warrior. Again, that's the battle system in this game. Ah, a cucumber and a persimmon. I love to eat vegetables. You look delicious! Sir, that is disturbing. Nice try. I'll make coleslaw out of you. He'll eat us! Uh, wants this finish? You stole this. He took it! Want some water? Don't give that away. Uh, I guess it's time to fight. Put your fingers up. So here you can see the rock, paper, scissors is rapidly shifting. And I think it depends on the buttons you push on the D-pad. So up is rock. Right is paper. And now we have to look in the opposite direction than he's showing. And we did, so that's good. And down is rock, so we gotta look away again. Left is scissors, okay. Good, good, good. All right, so we won this one, so we wanna point in the same direction that his head's looking. So now, at the bottom, now there's two little things that we have to beat. He had only been one level of difficulty, now we gotta beat him twice. Okay, this is taking longer than I expected. We'll probably want to cut the video at this part. Okay, we beat him once. Now I've got to beat him one more time. 
Oh no, now we have to beat him twice again. Okay. Okay, good. We beat him, now we can move on. The Parsley Forest! Welcome to the first maze of the game. This is tricky, and when I was a kid, my game stalled out here for a long time because the Parsley Forest is a maze, you can find a compass, but even then I didn't quite understand how it worked, so there was a lot of trial and error to get through this. So you use move. There's nothing here now. Alright, let's see if we can't find that compass. There's a pouch. Okay, that's good. Okay, there was gold in the pouch. Nice. We definitely need to find the compass here, because if we don't find it here, you cannot find it later in the game. A tin can. Okay, this is important. This is what the guard was talking about with don't litter in the forest. You'll actually use this once you get through the maze. Let's go back down this way. Okay, so this is the end. This is where you're supposed to be going. Except we don't have any of the things that we need. We have the tin can, but we also need to find the compass and the shovel. And if we don't have all of those materials, we can't really progress. So, back to the maze. There's a pouch. And I just made a loop. There's a shovel, boss. Great, we need that too. Okay, let's go. There's a pouch. So we're now up to three gold coins that we've found. Without the compass, this is a lot more difficult to figure out which direction you're going. Which is why we need to find the compass. Another pouch. Great, but not what we're looking for. Oh, and this one's empty. And we're back here again. A compass! Perfect! This is exactly what we needed. Now we can find our way out! So now we have all the things we needed. Now we've got to see if we can get back to the tree. Did we make it? Sweet, okay, we made it. That was a lot harder when I was a kid. I didn't quite understand how the maze worked, and I just sort of went in circles. So, look, the trunk looks like a face. There's something inside. It says beware. Oh, the ground is littered with torn vegetable matter and leaves. Not really creepy if you're a person, but if you're a vegetable, that's kind of awful. It's as hard as a diamond. If we throw something inside, we might wake it up. And that is where the tin can comes into play. Oh no, it's Saladron! He has a body like a dressing bottle and a knife and fork for hands. He looks very strong, boss. But we remember, Saladron hates scissors. So if we use scissors in rock, paper, scissors, we're going to have an easier time beating him. Woke me up, I'll eat you. Can't praise him. Boss, please help. It's not working. Alright, time to fight. Second battle in the same level. Okay, so using scissors means that he uses paper a lot. 
All right, we beat him once. We gotta beat him three times. All right, that's two. Sweet, okay, that was actually pretty easy because we knew he hated scissors. We did it, boss. Saladron won't bother us anymore. It should be safe now. Ha, Saladron wasn't so dangerous. So now we can go into the spooky tree. Is it really safe? Hey boss, it's dark in here. I can hardly see anything. Boss, it's an altar. It's to worship King Yam the Second. There's a mound of dirt underneath the altar. Do we have a shovel? Well, we do have a shovel. So that's what we need to use. Let's see if Percy has anything valuable to say. Boss, it's so dark. Percy doesn't have anything valuable to say. So let's use our shovel. Good idea, boss. I'm digging, I'm digging. I'm digging, I'm digging. I hit something hard. Damp soil. I think we have to use the shovel one more time. Or maybe two more times. It's a metal. Boss, the Yam Medallion. Well, we certainly want that. Can I wear it? <laughs> sure, Percy, you knock yourself out. No gardening until spring. Guess I can't take the dirt. Can't reach, it's too high. It's too high to reach. Alright, well, I think that's everything we need to do here. Oh, look! There's Mr. Leek again. It's Mr. Leek. Saladron, I will take you to the resistance base. Sorry, boss, I lost some junk when we came through the bush. Ah, now we have a new picture in our photo gallery. It is the first farming that we have seen in the game, the first Finger Wars battle that we ever did. And I think that's a good stopping point for this video. So please like, subscribe, and mash that bell. I hope that you had fun, most importantly. Most importantly, I hope you had fun here today. Join me next time as we go to the Resistance Base in Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Take care.